What's going on everybody? David here back with another video. So we're gonna do a stimulus package, stimulus check update. And this is what we're gonna call this the fireside chat. And I just wanna talk a little bit about this whole process, this whole stimulus check rollout and the, 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 the problems that I have with it. Now we're only a week and a half in. However, I think the priority is wrong as far as who's getting stimulus checks first. So I wanna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about the House Ways and Means Committee Chairman, Richard Neal. He wrote a letter to the IRS commissioner, letting the IRS commissioner know, look, the, the priority, we need to prioritize people on social security and he wants, he wants answers by Friday. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. And then I wanna talk about Direct Express. So Direct Express made a change and I think this is an indicator of potentially people receiving their direct deposits today. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But first off, you guys can do me a favor, please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is reaching 200,000 subscribers. You guys did it. You guys helped me get to this point. I really, really appreciate it. And it's amazing. Like I never even thought I would see 200,000 subscribers. And just to give you guys an idea, last year, this time I had 10,000 subscribers. So it's an amazing move in such a short period of time and you guys are doing it. It's not me. I'm not hitting the subscribe button. You guys are hitting the subscribe button. So thank you very much for your support. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart and this allows me to put content out. I mean, this, this motivates me when I see people that are supportive, it makes me want to put more and more content out. So if you guys do have ideas for, for uh, future videos, let me know in the comment section. I take a look at that and, and I'll determine uh, what the next topic is based on what you guys want to see. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Direct Express. So Direct Express, they made a change. And the viewers, you guys let me know this, that people were calling Direct Express and they were getting this recording that was saying it was going to take several weeks to receive your stimulus check. Well, guess what? Direct Express, they took that down. And so now there's no recording saying that. And this could be a big indicator that later today you might see money in your Direct Express account. Uh, so make sure you check. Let me know in the comment section if you receive your money because I want to be able to share this out with other people. It's very, very important. It really helps other people kind of gauge when uh, they're going to be receiving their stimulus checks because we know what's going on right now with the IRS. They're not letting us know this information for whatever reason. They're being very, very vague about who's going to receive checks and when they're going to receive them. Uh, so if you can do that, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the chairman, Richard Neal. So the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, he wrote this letter, he sent it to the IRS commissioner, gave him by Friday to, to have some dates when it comes to uh, the stimulus checks, how they're gonna roll them out, give us some dates. And I've been asking for this. Yesterday I put out a video, I was talking about the exact same thing. What, what are we looking at as far as dates? We're getting vague information, we're not getting, we're getting information that says, this is the second phase and people on March 24th will be receiving direct deposits. And then on the 26th, we'll start mailing out checks. Well, who are those checks going to? And who's getting direct deposit on March 24th? You, you know the answers to these questions because you're the one who's processing the check. So it's just, it, it, it makes no sense to me why they're not giving us more information when it comes down to that. But uh, I do wanna talk about this. And Richard Neal, his, his main gripe is with social security, prioritizing people. and I've always felt, and th this is this has been the pattern this whole time. So the CARES Act, the first stimulus check, it was the same pattern. The second stimulus check, it was the same pattern. This stimulus check, it's the same pattern. Basically people who filed their taxes 2019, 2020, those are the people who received their stimulus checks first. And then they move down the road. And so it, it, it's it's crazy to me to think that a lot of the people who are receiving stimulus checks first are people who are working. And that's just amazing to me because most of those people are putting that, that money in savings. So if you really want to stimulate the economy fast, you want to give it to people who really need it. Because if you give it to people who really need it first, they're going to use it right away. But if you give it to people who don't need it or don't need it right away, they're just going to put in their savings. So I've always had a problem with how they prioritize these stimulus checks. And I've been talking about this. You go back, you can go back and look at my videos eight months ago. And I was saying the same thing. Why are people that are that are working and filing their taxes 2018 2019 at the time it was 2018 2019 why are they getting stimulus checks first it makes no sense and so richard nail that was his that was his his major problem like look we should be it, it should be reversed and my issue with with richard nail coming out now is this should have been discussed while they were going over the whole package 
it should have been discussed then. Look, we need to prioritize. We need to have people who need it the most get it first. People who are unemployed, people on social security, SSI, SSDI, veterans beneficiaries, railroad retirement, those people should be getting the money first. And I know the argument and, and th this argument has come up and, and I see it in the comment section. And so I do want to, to bring it out there. People say, well, you know, people on social security, they haven't lost any money. So why should they be getting stimulus checks first? Well, during COVID-19 and this whole time, we've been spending more money. And when you look at the elderly population, they've been spending a lot more money than the average person because they're, get, they're going through a lot of the delivery services because they don't wanna to go to the grocery store. They're in that high risk category. And so where I can just go to a, to a grocery store to get what I need, they don't wanna do that. So they're getting delivery service, they have to pay delivery fees. Or if it's a delivery service for food, they have to pay that delivery fee. And so when you're looking at this whole situation, they're paying more money than the average person is. And so yes, they, they're just because they're making the same amount of money or getting the same amount of money in social security, which by the way, is not very much money. They're spending more money just because of the, the risk category that they're in. I mean, you, you, I heard stories of older people sitting in the parking lots of grocery stores waiting and asking people, can you go in the grocery store and buy my groceries for me? Because I don't want to go in there and get exposed uh, to this virus. That's amazing, right? That's crazy. To think about that. And so, yes, you have people who are unemployed. Those people definitely need to be in the front of the line. People on social security, they need to be in the front of the line. But we just, we did it reverse. And I don't know why that is. The only thing I can think of is they were looking at it. Well, this is the easiest people that we can send them out to. We know their information is all current, but guess what? People on social security, SSI, SSDI, they, all that information is current too, because they're receiving money every month. So I don't know. I don't know why it's that way. And uh, I don't know if we're going to see a fourth stimulus check, but this is one of those things where I think they need to really rethink this whole thing. Uh, and, and when I say fourth stimulus check, I know some people are like, what are you talking about? This is crazy. And I honestly, at this point, I can't see that happening. The only way that I can see a fourth stimulus check be an option is if our economy is doing really bad. And let's say October of this year, our economy is still doing, doing bad. Then I can see the Congress coming together and saying, look, we need to get another package through. And the reason that I say October is because that's the beginning of the fiscal year. And so they can do another budget reconciliation because I can't see this being bipartisan. I can't see us getting another stimulus package through that's bipartisan. We couldn't get this one through bipartisan. I can't see us getting another one through bipartisan. And then we also need to talk about infrastructure, that infrastructure bill. Uh, so that's gonna be something else. How are they gonna have, how are they gonna get that through? Is it gonna be through budget reconciliation? We'll have to see. And so, you know, they only have a certain amount of budget reconciliations that you can do. And because this was a spending budget reconciliation, you can only do one per year. And so they're not gonna be able to do another budget reconciliation for spending until October 1st, because that's the beginning of the new fiscal year. So that's where we are right now. And I just, I mean, like I said, it, it's amazing to me how politicians think, like, how could you, I mean, when you guys are sitting down and try to figure out who gets money first, it, it doesn't make any sense to send it to people who are working and filing their taxes. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so I want to know what you guys think about that. So in the comment section, let me know down below. And so hopefully this will be a good day. Hopefully a lot of people will see their, their direct deposits, see that they have this $1,400 in their direct deposit. And hopefully we don't even need to have new dates by Friday because the vast majority of people will have already received their checks. And hopefully they'll start mailing out on Friday. They're talking about mailing out checks. So maybe we'll be done by Friday. That's a possibility. And if we're done by Friday, I'll have to say that the process went faster than we thought because we're talking two weeks and we have not seen a rollout that fast, but I just think the priority was wrong. And I think that the IRS is not communicating with us the way that they should. Let us know who's receiving checks. It's, it's simple. You can tell us 25% of people on SSI, SSDI, railroad, Reti all those, 25% of those people will be receiving their money via Direct Express on today. 
and then another 25% on Thursday, and then another 25% on Friday, and then we're going to mail out the rest. How hard is it to let us know that? Because you're processing the stimulus checks right now. And people are getting that information. People are telling me via Direct Express, I should be receiving my check today. So if they're telling me this, the IRS knows about how many people should be receiving their direct deposits today. So that's just my thought. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.